So here we have the Aloha keelfish. Keelfishes are really fun to ride. It's no surprise that a lot of guys get hooked on surfing them and will ride them exclusively for months at a time. It almost makes the rest of the quiver look redundant. I think part of that's because they draw such different lines and you can surf in such a different part of the wave. So the novelty doesn't wear off. And you can also surf them in a huge range of conditions from groveling up to, you know, I know of guys and I've personally done it as well, taking a keelfish on a boat trip, ended up surfing it a lot in good stuff too. The, this particular fish, the Aloha keel, it's inspired by a Steve Liss fish or a California fish. It's got that sort of plan shape to it, but then the rails are more modernised and it's also got a single concave, which is more of a modern touch. This concave feeds into a V through the fins, so it'll draw the water in and let you go from rail to rail quite easily. Another nickname for a keelfish is a twin pin because when they designed them, they saw it as this being its own fin with a pintail and then same on the other side because you surf them either on one rail or the other. They're great for rail surfing. So this little fish would be an excellent option for someone who, who wants to have a reliable workhorse in the quiver that you don't get bored of surfing. Get yourself one. <laughs>